The story is like this, that um, after the Baal Shem Tov passed away, the, the Magid saw, spiritually had intuition, he saw that there was a terrible gzair, a terrible hardship that was going to befall the people of Klal Yisrael in that part of in Europe, in Eastern Europe. And he was praying, he was praying very hard. And uh, he had a, a certain sense that the Baal Shem Tov left. And he, he felt, he, he, he was a little upset with the Baal Shem Tov. His master passed away, the, the Rebbe died. And he felt like when the Rebbe was around, the Rebbe would do something, the Rebbe would do something, he would get together his students and they would really pray and make and try to change things. And he had a dream, and his dream, the Baal came to him. And he told the Baal in his dream, he said that, the Rebbe, I'm, I'm sad a little bit because I feel like since you left this world, you don't care about what happens to people anymore. And there's uh, such hardships and, you're not, and we can't pray and, you, and you're not teaching us, you, we don't know the correct way how to pray. So the Baal Shem Tov said, what could I do that from my position, the way I see things now from a higher perspective, from a Gan Eden, a paradise, I see that the world is already perfect and everything is exactly the way it should be. So the Magid said, okay, so then I'm going to stop praying. He says, no, from, but from your perspective, it's not. And that's the paradox, to, to recognize that there's two, two simultaneous para, uh, perspectives here. There's one from the larger picture that maybe things are not correct, not in order, and then the other, the other picture that everything is in order. And we have to pray from those two, those simultaneous types of paradigms. On one hand, to ask, the way we perceive the world, the way I perceive my life, I need to pray because I need, I need, I need livelihood, I need uh, shidduch, I need uh, health, I need different things in my life that I need. And from that perspective, I, I, I'm, I'm praying, I'm giving it out into this world that I must have these things, and these are things that are essential for me to live and survive. On the other hand, I also know that everything's accepted on high and everything's exactly the way it is. And to live with that paradox, that's really the way of davening, that's really the way of the depth of prayer.